At 90 years of age, Chief Buffalo, along with his fellow Chippewas, made the arduous trek to Sandy Lake. Um, and he writes, um, and I'm citing from a Wikipedia source, and he writes, um, an excerpt from one of his letters is, is it describes the conditions that uh, Chief Buffalo met and faced, and his explanation of why, why there was such a loss of life. He writes, And when a message was sent to me by our Indian agent to come and get our pay, I lost no time in arising and complying with my agent's voice, and when I reached my point of destination, verily my agent fed me with very bad flour. It resembled green clay. Soon I became sick, and many of my fellow Chippewas also were taken sick, and soon the results were manifested by the death of over 200 persons of my tribe for this calamity. I laid blame to the provisions issued to us. So as he wrote to Washington, D.C., complaining and protesting against the conditions, it fell pretty much on deaf ears for, for over two years. Um, but Chief Buffalo was not thwarted. He worked the local political newspapers. He traveled to St. Paul. Um, he made his plea and really sort of uh, made an effort to politically challenge locally and gained uh, favor of many, many of the local um, many of the local people, many of the whites themselves, but unfortunately he still uh, was not getting where he needed to uh, with Washington, D.C. in terms of changing this policy. So at the age of 92, in, 19, in 1852, he decided to go directly to Washington, D.C. So himself and four of, of, his, of the elders um, traveled and uh, attempted to make their way uh, to Washington, D.C., and along the way were trying to garner signatures and support for their cause. Um, at many, many times they were, uh, there was attempts to turn them away um, by agents and, and by the Bureau of Indian Affairs, but they were able to, to gain passage and eventually get to Washington, D.C., and were remarkably, he was able along uh, with his, his contingency to actually uh, meet with President Fillmore, and where he made his case and, um, and described the conditions. And through that was able to stop the, the forced uh, push of the Ojibwe West, as well as uh, set the, the conditions or begin the conditions for negotiating a new treaty with the U.S. government uh, in 1854, which really sets the stage uh, for um, the book that that I'm going to discuss. Um, the, the Treaty of 1854 essentially ensures the rights, um, the land rights, and the fishing and gaming rights for the Ojibwe. Um, but through his efforts, a 90-year-old plus man was able to really changed the course. He died in, in 1855, a year after the, after the treaty was, was agreed. Um, but through his efforts, he was able to, to really change policy and, and, and provide the kind of stability and opportunities uh, that he wanted for the Ojibwe.